Hi guys, Scott here from Outlaw Garage. Today we've got an event with uh, Flinders Motoring Heritage. We're heading down to the Mornington Peninsula. We're all catching up early this morning and uh, we're gonna head down there in a moment, but there's a group of us heading down together. So let's take a look at the cars here. Little manual Carrera 993. We've got her with our Outlaw. She does still need a bit of a tune after the um, Lothwather event, but she's doing all right. A couple of other guys have driven down here. 930 Turbo, look at this. Australian deliver car, 85 like ours. Look at that. It's a lovely interior. This is Sells. We will get this on the channel at some point. This one actually has a bare metal roof. Lovely little car, this one. Love the seats inside as well. But this will hit the channel. So we don't want to show you too much of that now because we will get it on. Little tog. Carrera here as well. This was nice driving down the road next to us today. Little Cayenne, GTS, GT3996, 72S is here as well, and here we go, we're rounding it off with what looks like a 930 Cabriolet, and then a 964 Cabriolet, look at that, so we're going to have a cracking day out. It's been a lovely drive down here already. We're up at the crack of dawn, but it's lovely. Here we are, we're just getting a coffee. Jez 356. Look at this little thing sat there. It's had a few mods. And again, we will get this on the channel at some point. But look at it sat there. It's a lovely outlaw look. So I think we're going to get some of the crew together and we're going to head down further down the Mornington Peninsula, get down to the Flinders Motoring Heritage event and take a look at the cars there. Hopefully there's coffee and a bacon sandwich. So what year T was it originally? A 72. A 72. Yeah, because I only built them on 72, so yeah. it's got the oil door. Yeah. So it's amazing work. We've tried to be as faithful yeah. as it was physically possible. The wheels are date matching and correct size as the right. cars left the factory. <laughs> uh, like I said, there's lots of stuff on it that is original. Uh, or correct, should I say? Yeah. None of it would have ever been on an ST. <laughs> but <laughs> how big is the fuel tank? 110, which is what yeah. they were. Right. It's amazing. You're very. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I've spoken to Dave on the phone, but I haven't seen a lot of it. Oh, it's very, it's very hard to hold. Actually, it's a lot of key to get in there. Yeah. Really well priced, but hey, Scott. Hey, how are you? Good. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So it's a based on a 911T. These are left-hand drive car because they only built them, these uh, race cars in a left-hand drive. That is spectacular. We'll try and uh, contact the owner and get this on the channel because this is a this is such a well-built car. Look at the engine on this. Look at that. And there are some spectacularly original cars here, but we do like a hot rod. Look at this thing. Look at that. Look at this old 63 Capri. The steering wheel on that. So look at that there. That is brilliant. I think it's the first time I've seen one. That interior is absolutely brilliant. We've wandered down to the other paddocks uh, where the cars are parked. Location C, we've got the Austin Healy Club, 
first one here is a 55 and then we'll take a look at the others but these are belter cars <laughs> Try not to fall over in the field. It's green 55, it's nice. Nice old Holden. Lovely paint job and matching interior. And then the old hood ornament. Look at that there. So don't know much about this. So, Bowell 61 it says. It is actually an Australian made car. Another one, so now I'm back to sort of I've got to get out there. Never seen one of those before. It doesn't matter, it's a This little convertible. Nice roof rack set up on this 911S. And what I particularly like about this one is the gold lettering on the orange. That looks really nice. Lovely interior. Yeah, love those seats. I am not. Falling off the curb. Beautiful car. Does look like this might be the only VW down here. There's no splitties or uh, Beetles down here. However, there might be a Beetle over in the corner there. But there aren't many Volkswagens around today. A lot of Australian cars, which is really nice to see. A couple of pre-war cars, uh, Alpha and uh, assuming that's a replica of Bugatti over in the corner. Bugatti here. Being on our database, dash and dials, and then uh, the wood on the back. Oh, I like that. That's pretty standard, isn't it? We spend more time in my house every Sunday. There aren't seen many of those around. All the wood trim around the doors. Look at that for a lovely interior. The old dials there. Here's the engine. Don't see many of these around at all. They run me over. You folded in. So we're just heading down to uh, car park number three, but before we get there, replica speedster, an old country buggy. I don't see many of those around. Like any old classic park on a hill. Just a little bit of stone underneath the wheel, make sure she stays there. Lovely car. And then we've got a little 911 over here. It's a lovely car as well. Roof rack. Actually, said it was a 911, but it's actually a 912. Again, we don't see many of those around here in Australia. Left hand drive car. Of course, because there are very, very few right hand drive ones. Lovely interior on that. I've actually been thinking about getting a little 912. That is a perfect specimen. So, yeah. Sounds too quiet. Yeah. So what do you do? Drive off like a dick and go and push it? You know, don't, we don't I do know. That. <laughs> it's not a muscle. Yeah. Until you get carpet. <laughs> watch this quarter, watch this Thank curve. you. <laughs> Want to hear the one? <laughs> so here's something special. Original paint, 4.2 litre jag. Look at the patina on this. 
Oh, there she is there from the front. Here's the motor. And it has a Jaguar boat being towed behind it. So the Jaguar boat, Jaguar motor, a dash of the old boat, even the Jaguar steering wheel over there. Oh, it's had a massive turnout for the Jaguar crew. This is a little E-type inside here. The old motor there. They've all got their bonnets up to show them off. This is a 63. Variety collection here today. We've got the Plymouth, Camaro, Ford Mustang over there with some race livery on it. However, over this side, we've got a Ford Model T. And there's a collection of Rolls Royces over the other side. So, great, great turnout. Weather couldn't have been any better. Finally bumped into a couple of Volkswagen so this is a modified 1954 U. Here we go. Overhead cooling. Look at that. And then we have the first splitty here. And the only splitty to be fair. Old Aston Martin. And the cyclist would sit in behind and get the slipstream. And they'd be doing 100 miles an hour on a push Fall down the hill. Got no idea what model that is though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah. people will be able to tell from the front of the car. So the old Model T. Look at this thing here. <laughs> Pedal box and set up on it. <laughs> Lovely in the sunlight. That glow off the car is fantastic. And then the big one here. Look at that old Holden as well. These are popular old cars. Look at that. Some really nice cars here today. Love that interior. So here we go, an old Renault. We've seen one of these in Dubai, but these are the ones with the uh, suicide doors. I think the one we saw in Dubai actually was the same colour as well. I think this is a Ferrari 512. I do get a little bit confused with Ferraris. But then next to that is a bagged Thunderbird. Look at that thing there. That's the first time I've seen that car. Yeah, I've never seen that car. Well, we were going to cover this car, but it is off to Queensland in four days' time, so I guess this one won't be hitting the channel. However, it is a stunning colour, imported from Singapore and now living in Australia. Well, we're beat today. 356 got a beating by this modified 911. This thing is spectacular best modified car of the day old Ford look at this thing with an old dicky seat in the back just for the naughty children so we've got an old movie car here from the movie two hands with Heath Ledger look at this XA Ford Aussie car look at that big old tires on the rear look at the size of those They're beautiful cars. I need to get into the Aussie cars a little bit more on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was great catching up with the crew again. Really well organized event today, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you later, guys. Bye.